we continue on and on to pursue our goals in this world, which Allah Ta'ala says is temporary. This remembering about the eternal life of the hereafter and forgetting about the fact that death can come to us anytime. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has blessed us with this mind, this mind that can think, store and remember information as well as forget things too. Hence, a reminder is needed, not a reminder towards this worldly life. We hear these 24 seven, but a reminder about the greatness of Allah, about the unseen, about the hereafter, about paradise. When was the last time we ever sat with someone or even with our family and talked about the greatness of Allah? Allah Ta'ala says, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الْذِكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And remind, for the reminder is beneficial for the believers. Surah al dariya verse 55. Because when you remind someone, you are also reminding your own self. The Prophet وسلم, has said in a hadith, which goes, And Nu'man ibn Bashir, radiallahu anhu, yaqul, Sami'ta Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yaqul, Ala wa inna bil jasadi mudhatan idha salahat, salahat jasad kullu, wa idha fasadat, the Umad ibn Bashir narrates that the Prophet وسلم, in a segment from a long hadith has said, Beware, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it becomes good, the whole body becomes good. But if it gets spoiled, the whole body gets spoiled. And that is the heart. My beloved elders, brothers, sisters, and mothers, we take a moment to ponder and ask ourselves, why is it that we can withstand hours of talk, news, discussions of this world, but if we are being reminded or hear just a few sentences about our deen or the life hereafter, we feel the urge to leave or avoid it or hastily try and change the topic because our hearts are rusted. Our hearts have been painted with so many coats of the wonderfulness of this world that when the haq, the truth appears in front of us, we are disinclined to accept it. Yet we know and understand that this is truly beneficial for our spiritual self but because of our hearts being so rusted, we deem it as unnecessary and a waste of time. Nay, but that which they earn is rust upon their hearts. Surah so Al-Tawfiq verse 14. That is our prayers done without concentration and devotion. Our minds going elsewhere thinking about the dunya as we pray and all other forms of ibadah worship will never reach its full potential and perfection until we remove the love that we have for this world out of our hearts and replace it with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah ta'ala says, Inna Allah hashtara min al-mu'minina al-kusamu wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al-jannah Indeed, Allah has purchased from the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for that they will have paradise. Surah al verse 111 Have we forgotten paradise? Its vastness as far as the eyes can see the beautiful maidens living there, the rivers of honey and milk, the castles and abodes made of gold and silver, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad 
knew and understood its incomparable value and prioritized it over this temporary life because they knew Allah Ta'ala's words are true and definite. Now we can see the difference of their life and ours. My dear fellow worshippers, this world is like your shadow. Try to catch it and you'll never succeed. But if you turn to Allah Ta'ala and follow the way of life shown by our Prophet وسلم, then this world, your shadow, will follow you. Never let the love of this world overpower the one you have for Allah and His Messenger. Let this world be upon your palm. However, what needs to be grasped and held tightly is the love of Allah and His Messenger. This love is the one we should continue to strengthen as Allah and His Rasul should always stay number one in your heart. May Allah Ta'ala give us the full understanding of what we have heard. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bima fihi min ayatihi wa dhikr al-Hakim وأقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم My dear respected elders, brothers, sisters, and mothers, Allah Ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِذْهُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O oh Muhammad, if you should love Allah, then follow me. So Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. Al-Imran verse 31. So my dear respected elders, brothers, sisters, and mothers, if you hear about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or of the unseen, understand that this is Allah Ta'ala showing His mercy and love for you, refreshing our Iman and reminding us about our true purpose in life, as this life is not very long, and the fact that death can come take us any time, we should continue to remind ourselves and our family and others, as when they remind us happen, our hearts will then begin to accept the reality of the hereafter and thus we are able to perform our ibadah the way Allah Ta'ala wants and that was shown by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept us all Qala Allah Ta'ala Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وارض اللهم عن ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين وتابعين بإحسان إلى يوم الدين آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منكم والأموات إنك السميع القريب تجيب الدعوات ربنا لا تزل قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب 
ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم إنا نسألك بضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سقطك والنار اللهم ارزقنا توبة نسوحة اللهم ارزقنا حسن الخاتمة اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم حسبنا حسابا يسيرا ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا رب ارحمهما كما ربيانا صغارا ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وكنا عذاب النار عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينحى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر واقم الصلاة